When it comes to photography, there are a lot of good photographers out there. You can be scrolling Instagram and you can just see good photo after good photo, but then there's those moments where you see a photo and it's a jaw dropping moment. You staring at that photo like this and wondering how in the world did that photographer shoot or edit that photo? And one of my friends, Visuals of Julius, is a jaw-dropping photographer and photo editor. You can look through his feed and every single photo that you see is going to be a jaw-dropping moment. Now, if I was trying to create photos like Visuals of Julius, I would epically fail because I am not a master of Photoshop. But Visuals of Julius, he is. He's literally spent hours upon hours mastering techniques in Photoshop in order to create those jaw-dropping photos. Now, what if I was to tell you that maybe there is another way? Recently, the sponsor of this episode, Skylum, approached me giving me the opportunity to test out their new software, Luminar Neo. And they told me that Luminar Neo helps photographers edit their photos the way that they imagined it. Now, when they gave me this opportunity, I gotta be brutally honest. At first, I was very skeptical because in some ways, I feel like an old dog who can't learn new tricks. I am very slow to adapt to new programs, to new software, to new techniques. I'm one of those guys that's been using Lightroom Classic since the beginning days and has never moved away from Lightroom Classic. But still, I thought, why not try? Maybe something good can come out of this. And let's just say I am very happy that I tested out Luminar Neo because it is one epic piece of software. The moment I open up Luminar Neo, it just eased all of my stress because the moment I opened up the program and I saw their simple user interface, I was like, huh, okay, maybe I can manage to learn how to use the software and maybe this will actually help me create those jaw dropping photos. So let's open up Luminar Neo and let me show you how the software works and what it can do and why is it just so epic as I say it is. So when you open up Luminar Neo, you're gonna see this really basic user interface where you have your photo catalogs. You can make different albums here on the left. I made an album called Luminar Neo just with some of my favorite photos that I wanna edit in today's video. So on top here, you have catalog and then you have edit. And then when you open up an edits, you have tools, edits, and presets. Now, when you open up the tools tab, you're gonna have your essentials. So in the develop tab, you have sliders to impact your exposure, your blacks and whites, you have a curves, you can change your white balance, sharpness, noise reduction, all those typical tools that we have in Lightroom Classic and other photo editing apps. Now, where Luminar Neo really sets the bar is its artificial intelligence. They've created an algorithm that studies your photos and helps you make decisions and helps you to really manipulate your photos even if you don't know technically how to do it practically. So what I mean by this is that if you want to do a lot of these different enhancements or manipulations in Photoshop, you got to know how to use the program. Whereas Luminar Neo, you essentially tell the program what you want to do and it's going to do it for you with its AI. Now, I don't want to bore you guys with the basics of Luminar Neo because I think everyone who opens the program will quickly learn the basics of Luminar Neo. But I want to show you off some of the spicy features in Luminar Neo. Now, the first feature I want to show off is the Relight AI. Luminar Neo is using 3D mapping in order to light the photo. Now, for a lot of you guys, you're probably thinking, what in the world does that mean? How can a photo be 3D? It's 2D, so how could you light it in a 3D way? Well, let me show you. So here I have this photo from Alabama Hills on our trip to California. And if you go down to Relight AI, it says here brightness near or brightness far. Now, as you can see in this photo, uh, the sun had risen and the background is really bright, but the foreground is very dark. So what I can do in this photo is I can actually turn down the brightness in the far, which is gonna make the background darker. 
and then I can change the brightness nearby, which means it's gonna light me up. Now, it as well has this depth feature, which you're gonna see this line moving back and forth, and that's basically determining how deep do you want the effects of the brightness near and far to be, which is really cool. So, with these few sliders, I was able to darken the background without having to do any masks and to brighten the foreground. Now, if you're looking at this photo, you can see that the background is way warmer than me in the foreground, and it doesn't look natural, and that's where the advanced settings of Relight AI come into hand. Here you have warmth near and warmth far, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the slider up for warmth near because I want me to be warmer, and right away it looks a lot more natural. So I can turn this off, and this is now. And okay, maybe I went a little bit over here, so I would just maybe bring some of the background back in. But usually in Lightroom, I have to do a lot of brushing and a lot of craziness, but just with these few sliders with Relight AI, I'm able to change the whole exposure in a 3D mapping way, which is just insane. I honestly don't know how they programmed that to work out. Now the second tool in Luminar Neo that's really cool is the Erase tool. Yes, I said that, the Erase tool. And now you're thinking, how sexy can an Erase tool really be? Well, the Erase tool in Luminar Neo is actually very helpful. I'm gonna open up this photo of my wife, my beautiful pregnant wife that I shot in Joshua Tree. And in this photo, I tried to frame her under this beautiful cactus, but what if we had differing visions for the photo and she actually didn't want the cactus in the photo? Well, that's no problem. You can literally just go to the Erase tab you can select how wide or big your brush is gonna be, and a little bit bigger so I can get the whole cactus Joshua tree. And you can just literally brush in the tree and then just press erase. And in a second or two, Luminar Neo is gonna cut out the whole tree out of the photo. Voila, there we go. If there's a little bit of problems with the sky, you can then just go and just erase the sky quickly, those lines, and fix that up. Very simple, easy steps. Oh, we've got a tree up here too, we're gonna remove that. Well, that sounds like, okay, other programs can do that as well. Well, they've taken a step further in Luminar Neo. Not only have they given us the feature to use the brush, but as well, there is, just with a click of button, an opportunity to remove power lines and dust spots. This photo was from our epic trip in Lofoten with my brother Maddie and the boys. If you haven't seen those vlogs, make sure you go watch them up there. But in this photo, we got this epic photo of my brother on this bridge in Lofoten with the mountains in the background, but there's this huge power line going through the middle of the photo. And sometimes in other programs like Lightroom Classic, if you were to just brush that out and try to take a different spot, it might look a bit awkward. Whereas in Luminar Neo, you just click remove power lines, wait a second or two, and voila, the whole power line has been removed. That's pretty amazing. On top of removing power lines, it can as well remove dust spots. If you have dust on your sensor, those annoying little dust spots, you just click remove dust spots and it's gonna in seconds remove all the dust spots on your photo. All right, this third feature is one of those features that all photographers want in their arsenal. The Sky AI. Most people, if you wanna do a sky replacement, you gotta open up your photo in Photoshop, put it in there and do all the work for it. By Luminar AI, you literally just open up the photo. My wife and I were recently in Thailand. We were at this epic villa with our own private pool and the sky was very bland. So you literally just go to the tools, sky AI, and there's sky selection there. Now there are some already preset skies for you, but as well, you can go to the Get More Skies and buy all sorts of different sky replacement textures from Luminar, or you can even include your own that you've taken. So I want this to be more of a blue sky photo because it's very you know sunny and nice, and I wanna to try to manipulate the photo like that. So let's see what I can do here. Let's try different backgrounds. Okay, that looks pretty cool already. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now the foreground is obviously a lot darker, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close up the Sky AI and I'm gonna to go to the Relight AI, which we used earlier. 
and now I'm just going to brighten the near to get a little bit more pop. And already that looks a lot better. So within like two clicks, of course I could do a little bit more finessing, but literally two clicks I was able to replace the sky and brighten up the, the foreground so it looks a lot more natural and sunny. And there we go. I'll be able to deliver this photo to the client and they'll be very happy with the nice sunny sky photos. On top of using the Sky AI to replace the sky with clouds or a sunset, you can as well add stars, which is pretty dang epic. I took this photo of our camper van Jeep in Alabama Hills. There are some stars, but maybe it's not that spectacular. And if you go to the Sky AI, you can do sky selection and they also have different stars. Let's try this star one right here. Boom. Right away, we have pretty epic looking. As well, we can also do some slight adjustments to it. So for example, maybe we're gonna cool down the sky replacement a little bit so it matches the photo better. Let's do the brightness up a little bit. And then as well, again, we can go back to relight and do the brightness near. We're gonna brighten the Jeep so that looks more poppy from the backdrop. Look at that. So we're just gonna, you know, show what it looks like with the relight, and then here without the sky replacement, and then with the sky replacement. It's honestly crazy how easy Luminar Neo is to use and how powerful it is that you can literally manipulate your photos into exactly the final product that you envisioned it to be. Now the last tab I wanna show off is the portrait tab. If you are a portrait photographer and you wanna be able to manipulate your photos easily, there's a whole bunch of different features. Now, disclaimer, I would not change anything about my wife. She is beautiful and perfect the way she is. But if for some reason, maybe she wanted me to manipulate the photo, uh, I could in Luminar Neo. So the first feature is portrait bokeh. You can actually increase the amount of depth of field or blur in the background. So you can just go here and add more. If for some reason you were shooting a prime lens, maybe you're shooting with a zoom lens and you didn't have that nice depth of field, you can increase it. And here you can see the before and after. It will blur out a lot of the background stuff. We're going to take that off. Here you can do face AI so you can light up the face more. It, the program knows where the face is and it knows how to lighten the face. You can slim the face a little bit if you want. You know, maybe if you're using a wide angle lens and it's distorting the face a little bit, you can slim it down to make it more look natural. You can impact the eyes. If you're doing a close up portrait, it's gonna be able to do, you know, the iris flare, enlarge the eyes, whiten your eyes, eye enhancer. You can do all this crazy manipulation for the eyes. For your skin, you can smooth out the skin, you can take off the shine if there's a, you know, you're a little bit sweaty that day and you wanna be able to get that shine removal. As well, you can click skin defects removal. It's gonna try to use the AI and figure out the different skin defects. Maybe you have a zit on your face and it's gonna take out the zit immediately. Body, you can change the shape of a body as well. This can be handy if you are shooting with a wide angle lens and it does distort the body. Most people are not gonna enjoy their body being stretched, so with the body shape, you can just bring it in just a tad. Not too much though, because that will look fake and Photoshop, but you can bring it in a little bit. So those were some of my favorite features of Luminar Neo. This was literally my third time using the program. So within one, two, three times of using the program, it was so easy to go through and find the different tools and how to use them and play with them. And they really help you get that final image that you're hoping for. So if you are a photographer and you wanna take your good photos and make them into jaw-dropping photos, I would highly recommend checking out Luminar Neo. With the link in my description, you can go straight to their website and you can sign up with their yearly subscription of 59 euros or you can do a one-time payment of 69 euros. And in purchasing Luminar Neo, there really is no risk at all because they have a 30-day money-back guarantee, 
which I highly doubt you'll need because not only is it very affordable, but as well, the software, it's awesome. To end the video, I would love it if you guys could go to the Luminar website and as well check out their new campaign called The Land of Freedom. You guys might not know, but Luminar is actually a company from Ukraine. And we all know what's been happening in Ukraine lately. And Luminar has been doing their best to not only create an amazing product for us to use, but as well to do humanitarian work and aid for the people of Ukraine and as well their staff. They've actually had to relocate a whole bunch of their staff all over Europe and the world. And they've been using their finances for that and as well they've been helping the people of Ukraine. So they launched this program called the Land of Freedom where they created their own LUP pack that you guys can buy to support Luminar and the people of Ukraine. And as well, when you buy the LUTs, you can donate, which is really awesome. It's so cool to see companies literally in Ukraine doing their best to help and support their people and to create opportunities for us to help and support them. So I just wanna say, Luminar, thank you for everything that you guys are doing to help and support the people of Ukraine. That's it for today's video. If you guys enjoy it, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, comment below what you think about Luminar and Neo, and in general, photo manipulation. Do you think it's okay or not okay? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that topic.